the pockets of the state still in the dark. It doesn't seem to matter that the power is coming back on for everybody else. Yeah, one of those communities is Fairfield, where frustration among neighbors there has reached the boiling point. Now the National Guard is patrolling the streets. News 8 Stephanie Simone live in Fairfield at one of those checkpoints. Stephanie? Darren, and a lot of these roads that head down to the water, they have these National Guard checkpoints, meaning residents, they have to show their ID before they can even get down to their homes. And a lot of these streets are divided, those with power and those without. That's awesome. <laughs> Very happy now. After a week in the dark, when a street Absolutely. lights up, so do the people. Oh, my dog is going to be so happy. It's been so cold in there, so I'm, I'm just happy to have it back on. Yeah, I'm glad it's got back on. I'm sure he is. At the end of the street and two other spots in Fairfield, it got so tense, police were called for residents bullying United Illuminating workers. From what I heard is they harassed them, then uh, they blocked one of the trucks, so said you're not, you're not, um, you're not leaving until my power comes on. Russo was appalled by his neighbor. They worked hard as they could. You know, it's, it's understandable. It's not their fault. The power guys, they, they get a lot of criticism, but uh, <laughs> It's an overwhelming task. Mark Lockwood has half power. He only has lights, no heat, and no electricity in the kitchen. Family brought over this meal. During the storm, a sub panel was submerged along with his basement. This one is devastated. Uh, we had a significant amount of stuff in the basement that's all lost. He doesn't know when he'll have heat or if he'll have it for the nor'easter headed our way. We had uh, our plumber came over the weekend to take a look and is really struggling to uh, find a replacement furnace and boiler for us. So we're uh, uh, on a search right now for the uh, correct equipment. If we can find it, he'll install it. Now Lockwood has company. You can see this house behind me. They don't have power. Thousands in Fairfield still do not have power. I spoke to many about that nor'easter heading our way. Many have expressed some very serious concerns. Others are thinking positive. They're saying those trees that blew down, well, they already blew down with Sandy. They can't blow down again. Let's hope the power of positive thinking works this time. We are live in Fairfield tonight. Stephanie Simone, News 8.